Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Today what I'd like to be doing is a 30 by 40 centimetre placemat, which I've purchased from the local Kmart store. I've covered it on the back to protect it uh, from paint getting on the cork. I love these because they're already um, got the cork on them, ready to go. And once they've been painted and then resined they are absolutely gorgeous as a placemat or a table centerpiece they're quite large so they make um, a beautiful piece of artwork anyway and the way i prepare these is i simply just wipe over them with the isoprotol alcohol and that's it that's all you need to do you don't need to gesso or anything else they're just ready to go because there's quite a leafy pattern on here um, it's a good idea if you cover it with a base paint first that is an opaque so you don't see that through the paint which I will do in a moment off um, camera and then come back to you but what I'm going to do today is I've been wanting for a long time to just take a paint such as the Seraldo turquoise and make it into four different shades of the same color just by adding white paint which is what i've done today um, so i've got these little cups on the side here but that's the original color and i've added a bit more white a bit more white a bit more white um, to get all the different colors of that um, i'm also going to be using the global metallic copper because i love that with turquoise and i'm also going to use the Villaggio pearl medium i've got a bit of paint on there and I've mixed it with both the um, oops, the Titanium White by Amsterdam and also the Pearl White by Amsterdam. Uh, that was actually an accident. I accidentally put the Pearl White from Amsterdam in there. So we'll see what happens with that. That will be interesting. And they're all mixed with the Australian Flow Troll. I have listed all of those in the uh, description box. So if you just click on the title of this video, that will take you to the description box unless you're on your smart TV when it won't take you there. Okay, so I'm just now going to coat this um, with a base paint and then I'm going to come back and tell you what I'm doing after that. Okay, so here I am back again. I've laid the paint. I've left this a bit of a gap in the middle here um, because I don't need to put a lot of paint there. I'll have a lot of paint coming out. And I've marked my center. So now I'm going to be using one of these little sink strainers again. Um, so I'm, oops, a bit of something just landed in there. I don't want that in there. Um, so I'm just going to place that in the center. So hopefully that will be. And now I'm going to just lay the paints down in here. Um, they should just run out and um, form a beautiful flower, which is what I want to do. Now I have checked my consistencies, my paint consistency. As you can see, these three were perfect. This one was a little bit thinner. Um, it's the base paint, so that's fine. And I found that the um, pearl white um, was a bit too thin. So that's when I added the um, bit more titanium white. And, a, and that's when I accidentally added the uh, Amsterdam pearl white as well. Um, so that is the right consistency now. I just haven't done the drip test on here. Okay, so without further ado, 
I'm going to start by putting in the um, pearl white. So in it goes, in the hope that that will then have some lacing around the edges. And I'm then going to put the copper again, so hopefully that will be a nice edge to my flower. And then I'm just going to start loading these in and alternating with the pearl white. So there will be quite a bit of paint on here and I am going to be spinning this off. So I'll just put that one, then my bit of pearl white. And then the next colour, which I've just, I've just used the same colour as I say, and I've just um, added more white, titanium white to it each time. So I've got quite a bit of that one, so I'm happy to load that up. And a bit more pearl white. Never quite sure exactly how much to put in. It's always a bit of a guess. And I'm Okay, so I'm finishing off with the copper in the middle. I'll just let that run through for a couple of seconds. Just help it to go this way just slightly. I don't want to um, tilt it too much because that will off make it, you know, skew, off skew the whole thing. So now I'm just going to gently lift this, let the paint run out. One, two, three, off. Beautiful. Okay, this is looking lovely. So I'll just move all these out of my way or I will end up spilling those. So now what I want to do is I just want to um, do some lines through this. I'm just going to use the bamboo skewer. I'm just going to try and actually... Um, clarify the petals here. So I'm just going to come right through the middle of these. And I think I'll try it with the thin edge first. Okay. Let's use a tissue to wipe that. And I'm just coming through here. Yeah, on second thoughts, I don't know if I will do that. I think I might just leave it. Spin it out first and see what I think then, I think. Okay, so here we go. Let 
Lovely. I'm not even going to spin that the other way. Love that the way it is. So I'm just going to hit that with the heat tool just to burst these few little bubbles I can see. And now that that's spun out, I'll now do my lines. Actually bring it out rather than in, I think. So I'll just put some music on for you whilst I'm doing this. So that's looking absolutely beautiful, I think. Um, I've got a few little cells coming up here from the pearl white, um, but not much. So it will look lovely when it dries because it'll have that lovely shimmer in the pearl. Um, I will just hit it with, um, actually with the heat gun, I think, and see if that brings off any cells. My partner Steve would be looking at this going, don't touch it, I don't like cells, and I like it like that, but I just want to try it. <laughs> So I just used this, which is a butane torch, instead of my usual um, heat embossing tool. I do prefer to use the heat embossing tool because it's um, safer. And always keep a, um, what do you call it? A fire extinguisher in your art room, just in case um, you do set fire to something, just to be safe. Um, but I do usually prefer just to use my heat embossing tool when I'm doing my artwork, and I keep my butane torch mainly just for when I'm doing resin um, but sometimes I know that the um, butane torch does bring up cells more so well, there's a few little cells coming up but not much but that is a really beautiful piece I hope you like that one today guys I'm loving it um, I might just put a little bit more paint on the edge there that looks like it's covered all the other edges are covered this one's just not quite so I did keep some of my base paint for that very reason, to make sure that that would be, all edges would be covered. So just quickly put some paint on the edge there. I could tilt it slightly, um, but I'm not that worried about that. I think that'll just uh, look nice because we've got the plain bits on the corners over here as well. So there you have it. Beautiful piece of artwork and um, just those colors are just lovely with the uh, copper and that turquoise coming through with the pearl white. Very soft and just lovely, yeah. Okay, I'll stop rambling on and um, I'll bring you down for a close up. Okay, so here we are coming down for a close up. As you can see, I've put a little center piece there. I've just put a little blob of the turquoise, the darker one, and a little bit of the um, copper. And then I use my skewer to draw the lines in. And then I've just uh, done a little finger pop in the middle. I just felt like the centre needed to be more defined there. Um, and as you can see, there's not a lot of cell activity. I was expecting a little bit more with the Villaggio Pearl Medium. 
uh, but that's okay it's still a lovely piece cells aren't everything there's a few there but this color just looks wonderful and i've actually got um my splash back or backsplash as some people call it in my kitchen is about that turquoisey color um, so i think i'll be keeping this one for myself i'll just resin it um, and it will be beautiful in the kitchen okay so hopefully you enjoyed that one today guys um, hopefully we'll be back here soon in studio 33 in the not too distant future and uh, stay safe until then see you soon bye bye <music>